Are you taking Praxis Elementary Mathematics Content Knowledge Test 7813 with the subtopic Geometry? If so, then this is the video for you. Hi, my name is Tom, and I am a test prep expert here at study.com, and I'm going to walk you through some of the types of problems you may see. So let's get started. Which of the following shapes has four sides of equal length and four right angles? Is it a rectangle, a rhombus, a square, trapezoid? And our four choices here, each one of these has four sides. So each one is a quadrilateral, but a rectangle and a trapezoid don't necessarily have four equal lengths. So those two choices are out. So we can construct rectangles or trapezoids that do not have four sides that are equal. So that leaves us with rhombus and square. So a rhombus has four sides of equal length and so does a square. A square is a certain type of rhombus and what separates it is that it is a rhombus that has four right angles also. So a square is a subgroup of a rhombus. So that means our correct answer would be a square. If you decompose a rectangle into two identical triangles, what type of triangle will each triangle be if you draw one diagonal from a vertex to the opposite vertex? Okay, so I set up a rectangle on here and I drew in the diagonal from one vertex to the opposite. In a rectangle, I know that I have right angles, okay? So that means in the corner, we're gonna have right angles here. I can see here that it's gonna decompose into two identical right triangles. All right, now that's going to be the case for any rectangle when I decompose this by drawing in a diagonal. Now, we could possibly have a scalene triangle. In this case here, this is scalene, but it's not always going to be true based on what rectangle that we choose. So for example, if we choose a square, a square is a type of rectangle, and we do this, it would not be a scalene triangle. It would actually be an isosceles triangle, but it's not going to be an isosceles triangle for every single rectangle we choose. And also equilateral triangle, it's impossible for us to have the hypotenuse of that triangle the same size as these legs of our triangle. So in this case here, the equilateral triangle would also be eliminated. Which of the following shapes can be drawn that is exactly three sides and three angles? Is it a quadrilateral, triangle, pentagon or hexagon. All right, so we want to know the definition of our polygons and what the prefixes mean. So a triangle is a polygon with three sides and three angles. So the correct answer is triangle. And by using our prefixes, quad is four sides and four angles. Penta is five sides and five angles. Hexagon is six sides and six angles. So when we're looking for three sides and three angles, we are dealing with a triangle. Which of the following figures is classified as a parallelogram? Is it a triangle, trapezoid, rectangle, or circle? The first thing we want to look at is parallelogram. A parallelogram is a type of quadrilateral. So quadrilaterals have four sides. So we're going to eliminate a triangle, has three sides. A circle is not part of the polygons. So a circle is eliminated. So we're looking at a trapezoid and a rectangle. So now a parallelogram is a quadrilateral that has both pairs of opposite sides parallel. Well, in a trapezoid, by definition of a trapezoid, a trapezoid has exactly one pair of opposite sides parallel, and the other pair of opposite sides are not parallel. So we're going to eliminate trapezoid. So the correct answer is rectangle. A rectangle is a type of parallelogram with both pairs of opposite sides parallel and congruent, and it has four right angles. That concludes our video. Praxis Elementary Mathematics Content Knowledge Test 7813 with the subtopic Geometry. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to our channel. And for more resources, don't forget to visit study.com for more videos like this and personalized learning plans. Thanks for watching.